Good evening. This is a Inspiron N5110. And we're going to be doing to replace the hard drive. And I've already got all the screws out. I've already got this, the CD ROM drive out. The next step is to take the keyboard off, which you've already seen that I've done that. But I'm going to make an example of how to take the keyboard off. The keyboard at the very top, you're going to be dealing with these little plastic tabs, and you got to push them in with a small screwdriver, each one, and just work your way up so you can take and be able to lift your keyboard up this way. Now they have lift on the bottom, so you just have to slide it out this way. And when you do, just take and flip your keyboard up. This black connector will flip up. Don't break it off. Pull your connector, your wires out. Set it off to the side. You got your mouse pad, your power button, ribbon cable. That lifts up and you pull the cable out. Same way with this, it lifts up and you pull the cable out. And same way with whatever cable this is, and you pull it out. This cable goes for these three buttons. And then you got these this screw, this screw, and that screw to take out. Maybe four screws. One, two, three, four, I believe. And then you just lift up on the side, just pry up, and then you'll pop this off and it'll come loose. Dell is such an ingenious design that they took and put the motherboard on top of the hard drive where you have to take oh let's see this screw, this screw, that screw, that screw, that screw whatever this stuff is out of the way get the motherboard out in order to get to the hard drive. Most computers have access to the hard drive from the bottom. This doesn't. So, you have one, two, three, four, five, five screws. And <clears throat> you need to take and remove this connector here that's for your screen and we'll go from there here's another pane you have to take and undo these two screws here and this screw and this screw here the hinges for your monitor in order to get the bracket out from the underneath that holds the processor fan in order to pop this motherboard out also they got a little board here that sits on top of it. It's just easy. You can just pull up on it. But it's kind of a crappy design in my opinion. After you get all this out, you should be able just to take and just slide it underneath the bracket. Of course not. They got a piece of plastic that you have to lift over the uh screen underneath here, this third hole. So you may have to just take and wiggle your screen loose and set it off like that. And then your motherboard will be able to come out. <laughs> and the back of your motherboard is your your hard drive. I'll get to that in just a second. And then you have your motherboard out. This is where your processor is located. Your other stick of memory. And there's two screws here. This screw and this screw. You take that screw out and your hard drive will be able to slide that way. You'll be able to take and put your other hard drive in the bracket that you have. You put that screw and that screw that screw and that screw back on to your other hard drive and slide it back in. Installation is, I'll put it back together how you took it apart.
<laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my videos if you like it. I'll see you next time.